Hello and welcome to AutoCADs. On 13th May 2024, OpenAI had introduced its new flagship version of ChatGPT and that is GPT-40. OpenAI claims that it has a similar intelligence capability as ChatGPT-4 and a very improved capabilities of text, voice and vision. But wait, there is a good news for you. To spread the awareness of GPT-40 and artificial intelligence, OpenAI has introduced GPT-40 and more tools in its free version. Yes, now as a free users, you can experience GPT-4 level of intelligence. You can get response from both mod the model and the web. So ChatGPT will also going to use the web to give you more updated result. You can analyze data and create charts. You can chat about the photos that you take. So you can upload the photos and chat with GPT about that photo. You can upload files for assistance, summarizing, writing or analyzing. You can discover and use GPTs and the GPT store. As well as you can have a helpful experience with memories. Now let's just see about some of the users of GPT-40 in the free version. Now in the first video we are going to see how ChatGPT is going to use the model as well as the web to give you more updated result. So for that you can see that I have already connected my internet and this is how the ChatGPT-40 will going to look. Basically I have, I have done nothing, I have just started the ChatGPT and what's new you will going to find, you will find this option over here. This is the upload button with the help of which you can upload the files and you can get the response for those files. You can upload photos, you can basically use a camera as well as a camera to upload the photos. You can even upload files for summarizing. So all of the things that you can do, you can upload it from here. Now let's just see how the chat GPT is using the model as well as the web. So let's just find out uh, some of the best restaurants in Mumbai. So I am going to type list some best restaurants in Mumbai. So this for uh, getting the result of this prompt chat GPT will going to use the web. So I'm going to upload this prompt and you can see that over here you can see that it is written over here that it is searching from the five sites so you can see that it has used the websites which uh, basically it has searched the web and it has find out uh, these much of restaurants similarly you can type more updated queries like let's say that i want a current temperature of london of london so here since this is not uh, basically this needed a web to get updated result so i'm going to upload this query and you can see that it will again going to search the web to find out the accurate result so here you can see that it has searched the six sites to get the accurate result so this is what chat gpt is going uh, this is how chat gpt is using the web to get you the updated result now let's just upload some photos and let's just chat about those photos with chat gpt so how to upload a photo you can as i have told you that there is this symbol which you can just click and you can upload any file like if you want to upload it from camera if you want to upload it from the browser you can do it from here you can see that over here i have two pics let's just discuss about these pics over here so this is one pic over here that uh, basically it's for the air pollution so just click on that and you can see that it is now being uploaded and now you have to type the prompt so let's say that i what uh, uh, i want to type a prompt that what it is what this pic is representing so what this pic is representing so i have given a prompt over here and i have even uploaded a photo let's just see what chat gpt will give you as a response so i have uploaded that and you can see that chat gpt will going to study that pic and it will going to represent uh, or it will going to provide you uh, what this pic is all about so you can see that it will going to represent the industrial pollution so yes it basically read the image it has written the image and you can see that how beautifully it has just find out what kind of image it is and uh, now you can even chat more about this pic like let's say that i want to chat that list 10 cities that is mostly most polluted in the world. 
So further, you can use the chat GPT, you can provide the prompts and chat GPT will give you the answer. So again, it will going to search the web and it will going to give you the updated result. So you can see that it has find out from the five sites and it will also going to give you what sites that it has used to give you the updated answer. Now let's just upload the second image. So I'm going to click on this upload image again. And from here, I'm going to provide the second image that is an image of a dog. So I'm going to double click over that and it will going to be uploaded. And let's just find out what kind of breed it is. So I'm going to give the prompt that what kind of breed it is. So just press the enter button and you can see that chat GPT will going to study that pic and it will going to find out that what breed it is. So you can see that it has accurately uh, basically find out what kind of breed it is. It is Labrador Retriever. So you can ask about more prompts about uh, what kind of breed and what it's like how where it is found i can type that also where these breeds are found just press enter and it will going to give you the result so this is how you can upload an image and you can chat about that image with chat gpt you can even use your camera of your mobile phone to upload the real time images now we are going to see how we can upload a file and we can use that file for analyzing writing and creating charts so we are going to upload a file in chat gpt and chat gpt will going to give you the analyze or analyze that file and give you the desired result that you want so i have one file and that is basically a air quality database of who and this is a 2022 update so this is a very big file so to study this all about um, basically to study all about this takes a lot of time so we can just upload this file to chat gpt and chat gpt will going to compile that and give you a summary of what it has written all what all about written over here so let's just see so i'm going to again click on this upload button and now this time i'm going to upload a pdf file so that a file is in a pdf format so this is the file so i'm going to double click over that and this file you can see that it is now being uploaded in chat gpt and we can also provide a prompt let's say that please summarize what it is all about so once you have written the prompt you just have to click on this button and it will going to be uploaded and chat gpt will going to read all that data and it will going to summarize that for you so you can see that uh, it will going to show you that basically this data is all about the pollution the pollutant cover the health guideline the global data coverage data sources as method health impact regional variations challenges statical summaries and futures so in the statical summaries you can see that it provides detailed statical data on pollutant label by region income level and settlement sites so we can give you more prompts like please provide me the statical statical data pardon me for the spellings data of the pollutant level label by region just make press enter and chat gpt will going to read that prompt and give you the result over here so you can see that it is again reading that document so you can see that now it is very easy to read such a big data and chat gpt will going to compile that for you or summarize that and you can use that data very efficiently so we can even create a graph with the above data so let's just create a graph so i'm going to provide a prompt and that will be to create a graph of the pm level different settlements of pm 2.5 and pm 10 according to different location so let's just give this prompt so create a graph with of pm 2.5 and pm 10 according to different locations so let's see how it will going to create a graph so you can see that it is analyzing that pdf again so 
so you can see that it has not directly created the graph but it has given a python code in the matplotlib and you have to just run this code to create a graph so in the free version you will not going to get this graph feature till now so, so i'm going to copy this code and then this is a matplotlib runner so i'm going to paste this and i'm going to run this code and you can see that it will going to run that code and it will going to create a graph accordingly so this is a different level of pm 2.5 and pm 10 and according to different locations it has created a graph of this concentration so till now we have seen a lot of things that you can do with chat gpt 4o in the free version but there is a limit you can see that in the open ai website it has told you that there is a limit on the number of messages that a free users can send with gpt 4o so yes you can't send unlimited messages basically you have some limit and that limit depends upon the users and demand so when the limit is reached so when the limit is going to be reached you can't upload the new files and chat gpt will automatically going to switch to chat gpt 3.5 which is a older version or basically a free version and you can continue the conversations with chat gpt 3.5 so all the features that is free in 4.0 will going to be lost once you reach that limit number so i hope you like this video if you have liked this then please do press the like button and subscribe for the updates like this thank you and catch up you in the next one